from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Smith & Wesson Performance Center's Tony Milley is back at our deer camp for more handgun hunting after last year's successful hunt. But first, let's join Americana Outdoors' Kevin Gieske on his first whitetail hunt of the season with the latest 10-point Carbon Phantom RCX crossbow. Man, I love crossbow hunting. Um, we've heard it before, it, it's hunting with a bow and it's hunting with a rifle put together. Uh, you have the accuracy of a rifle, um, but you get, to, you get to hunt in bow world. So you're up close hunting, that makes it exciting, and, and uh, I, I, just, I just love it. I'm using a 10-point Phantom RCX, and the, RC, the RCX means it's reverse cam. What that does is it gives you a little more draw, it gives you a little more kinetic energy. String comes back further into the trigger, that bolt goes just a little bit faster. And uh, let me tell you, they come sighted, pre-sighted from the factory. Out of the box, it was pretty dead on. So uh, on this hunt, if I miss, my fault. Where we're hunting is the Winlet Ranch. And uh, you know, we, we've come here several years now and it's just a beautiful piece of property. Um, their deer are beautiful. They like to let them age and so, you have good genetics that are passed on year to year. And, uh, you know, Scott Winlet and Clark Winlet, they, uh, it's their family ranch. And uh, it's all about uh, the family. It's all about the camaraderie. It's, it's about being there with friends. Uh, it's what I think a true Texas deer camp is. You know, day one, I got to hunt with Scott. He went out with me, and, and Scott knows his deer. So it made it really kind of nice. And there's a deer in the area that he said, you know, Better chance than not, that deer's gonna be in this area, so let's go sit there. So we did. As soon as the sun came up, you know, we had deer in front of us. Problem with this stand, it looks directly east, so we knew the clock was ticking. When the sun topped the hill, we were gonna be lit up like a Christmas tree in there. So that had us a little spooky, but you know, lo and behold, the deer we were looking for, he showed up. He stayed off on our right side, and we had Rusty, the camera, set up on the right side. Rusty couldn't see him. The deer still came over a couple times uh, where Rusty could get shots of him, but never gave me a good, steady, broadside shot. After that, sun came up, we lit up, said we're pretty much done here. Deer left, we left. Evening hunt comes, and we know that uh, this is where we're going. We're going back to that same stand. We sat there a little bit, not too long, and that deer came in along with his buddy. His buddy was there in the morning, I didn't mention that. Uh, they were traveling together, and uh, so in the evening, that deer comes in, and uh, my heart rate goes from normal to a thousand. As a matter of fact, um, I've kind of gotten into where I wear the Garmin heart rate monitor because everybody kind of makes fun of me. I'm the poster child for buck fever. Whether I'm hunting with a camera or whether I'm hunting with a, with a crossbow, bow, or rifle, it does not matter. Uh, I get all kinds of nervous when that deer comes out. So when that deer comes in, he goes right to where he likes to be, over on our right-hand side of that blind. And it was just a matter of time, just waiting to get the shot. Finally, I got where that left leg went forward. I think it was a good hit. I think it was a good hit. <laughs> what do you think, Scott? Yeah, I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? The problem is that crossbow throws that arrow so hard, so fast, we couldn't really see where it went. We played it back in the camera and, and we were pretty convinced that yeah, he was good. So we gave it a little bit of time, went out, started looking for the arrow, did not find the arrow initially, but had all kinds of blood. So we had all sign everywhere. 
and uh, we're looking around and we go maybe 30, 40 yards and Scott looks up, oh, there he is right there. <laughs> he's, ball, he's ball up in the tree. <laughs> well, he didn't go very far. There we go. Here, let's just Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Scott. This is oh, man, this has been fun. fun. It has been fun spending some time in the blind yeah, with you had, too. We've had we've had some good good experiences. Mm. Saw a lot of deer. Yeah. I had a, uh, got got a chance at this guy. He just man, look at look at that. I like it. real chocolatey. Uh -huh. You know, walking up on that deer, I I couldn't be happier. It's just nice to see them. It's nice to get your hands on them. It's nice to know that you got meat in the freezer. Um, it's just it's what makes hunting hunting. You know, one of the coolest things that I had on this hunt was the new Garmin InReach. It's a satellite communicator. Uh, basically, uh, it's using uh, satellite technology that you are uh, able to send and receive text like you do with your regular cell phone. So it's 100% worldwide coverage. So whether you're, uh, it doesn't matter where you are, and you're able to, if you get into trouble, you're able to get a text out for help. Um, or in this case, uh, I let Wade know that we had the deer down, no need to come out and, and, and help us. Uh, and that's part of one of the cool things about a Garmin inReach. In addition to that, uh, if they have software on their phone, they can actually see the image of where you are. You can text them your location, it'll pull up on a map and they say, okay, he's right here. We can access it from this location to this location if they need to get help to us. Now, if you really get in the pickle, you can actually go directly, you hit an SOS button on the side of the unit and that goes directly to uh, the guys that are monitoring that SOS signal and then help comes directly from them right away. Check out a Garmin inReach. It's something that really gives you peace of mind when you are uh, out in the woods, that you're able to get help if help is needed. Well, coming up, Smith & Wesson Performance Center's Tony Milley will go on a whitetail rattling hunt for the first time with this 44 Magnum Hunter. How do you aim a 36 yard shot with a 30 yard fixed pin at a 15 degree angle with a seven inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy, you get one of these. Zero, the auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. 10-point crossbow technologies. Perfection lives here. And by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Hey, we're at the Deer Camp in Brackettville, Texas, and we're welcoming a good friend from Smith & Wesson Performance Center, Tony Milley. Wade talked to me last year about coming back out and, and doing another hunt. Uh, when I got here, he said, hey, what do you think about the idea of doing some rattling and, and trying to take a, a, a deer that way with a handgun? I've never done it before, so obviously I was up for the challenge, and uh, I think we're gonna have a great time. Well, we've got a northwest wind this morning, which is not normal for around this time of the year. Temperatures are probably 34, 36, maybe 38, somewhere in there, which is really cold as far as I'm concerned as a Texan. And we're packed for an Arctic expedition and gear, but really what we're doing is going on a simple rattling trip. We've got Tony over here. He says he can go out in this temperature in his tank top and be successful. I kind of highly doubt that, but we are rattling, so we will be hiking and covering some ground. And you know, rattling is one of my most favorite things to do around the rut in Texas. These deer, uh, you know, sometimes you can get them to just come right into you. They lose control of their mind. They break rules they don't normally do. Uh, they'll circle you, they'll run right by you, and they, they're basically coming in to find that doe that the two big bucks are fighting on, and hopefully we can find a big one and rattle them in. 
Uh, we're going to move a lot. That's my general strategy this time of the year. We'll take the bike in and, and go, you know, sometimes a few hundred yards, sometimes a quarter of a mile to the next spot. And I like to set up in a scenario to where our, the wind is actually going towards where I think a lot of the deer are going to come from. And because uh, a lot of the better bucks will circle around, they'll come in, you know, downwind and, and just come right into you when you can reel them in. You gotta make fast decisions, but uh, we've got the performance center handgun geared up and ready to go, and hopefully we can put one right in the power plant to the deer and knock him down, and we'll have a celebration after we're done. You know, I've watched rattling on some of the TV shows, I've watched Wade do it, and I really didn't have an expectation, I mean, uh, and I, I really didn't understand what was gonna happen there. So the first time, you know, we were set up on two or three different areas and, and Wade rattled and nothing really happened. Uh, I think it was probably like the third time uh, we set up. The first one comes running in out of his mind. You didn't see the deer and all of a sudden, bam, it's there uh, right on top of you. I mean, 15 yards, it's just staring right at you. So the, there's about a 10 day period that Wade explains that rattling really works. And what happens is the bucks get worked up and they don't like the fact that maybe there's another buck in the area trying to take their does. And when they come in, they are pretty much like pissed off and they just want that other buck out of their area. That's a pretty good deer. He came, pushed all those others, blew the whole group up over there. I don't know if he was an eight or a 10, looks like big heavy body, the antlers went up. But you had the whole chase going on right there, which is, you know, happens this time of the year. You get them cutting back and forth. There was a couple of spikes, looked like a six, a small eight, and then that, you know, what looked like to be a mature deer, he might not have been. But he ended up going on downwind chasing her. He's kind of cut her, all the chase has moved off. So we had him right up there. He just didn't get out and open. Well, all in all, I think this morning was a pretty good morning. Uh, Wade did a great job rattled in quite a few bucks. Uh, we had one, one encounter where it was a real big deer. Unfortunately, he had his mind on a doe and he just kept going with her. But uh, we ran into a couple more groups, uh, come running right in after it was rattling. It was, it was a really good time. More whitetail hunting rattling action when we come back. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability, four times the comfort, and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch, that smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Yamaha ATV, real world tough, Thompson Center, America's master gun maker, 
and by Bradley Smoker. Food smoking made easy. Now before we get back out to the hunt, let's take a second and learn more about the full lineup of handguns that Smith & Wesson Performance Center offers for hunting. You know, handgun hunting is becoming more and more popular, and we've got a lot of different products from the Performance Center that could help you out on what you're looking for and what you're going to hunt with. The first gun up is a model 629, which is a stainless steel revolver, and it's really great for, you know, North American hunting, especially whitetail. So if you want to hunt whitetail or, or pigs, this would be a great opportunity to use this gun. You know, it's got integral rails on it, muzzle brakes, about a Performance Center tuned action. This is a great gun, especially if you just want to start off with handgun hunting. Next up is our 460. So if you're talking about elk hunting, uh, long range shooting, this is something you might be interested. You can shoot three calibers in this gun, 460, 454 Casul, or 45 Long Colt. So if you just want to spend a day at the range, put 45 Long Colts in it, it is great. A uh, lot less recoil, muzzle brake, fiber optic sight, integral rails, performance center tuned action. Great gun for, for North American hunting. You can hunt whitetail as well as pigs and elk. Now, if you're looking for Africa type hunting, this is our 500. So this would be a great gun to do this with. Uh, I prefer the seven and a half inch while I'm hunting. Once again, a performance center tuned action, integral rails, muzzle brakes. This is a great gun for hunting Africa. If you want to find out more about our hunting products, please visit the Smith & Wesson website. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, it's day two of whitetail rattling hunting with Performance Center's Tony Milley and Wade Middleton. They had quite a few animals on day one, but they're still looking for a big buck to show up. It was kind of slow in the morning. You know, we had a couple of deer come in into one of the areas. Uh, some of the small fork horns and, and spikes. We did have one big one come in. Oh, he's a shooter. Yeah, he's a shooter. He's an old crab claw eight point. They'd be a perfect deer. Maybe we could sneak up here to this next persimmon and be in position, see what he does. That was a real nice deer, and it's just it just didn't stay long enough, and and the big ones don't. You know, they'll come charging in, see what's going on, and pretty quick they're out of there. So you got to you got to be ready to to say, yeah, that's the animal I want to shoot, and then take the shot. So that right there put it in perspective for me. It's going to happen fast. You got to get the gun on them, and you got to decide whether or not that's the animal you want to shoot. But it's really it's really a quick paced opportunity when you're rattling. Coming up, Tony and Wade are still searching for a big buck. Find out if they'll have a chance to take and aim at one. Incredibly compact, perfectly balanced, deadly accurate. Shooting 340 feet per second, the reverse draw Vortec RDX is performance engineered to take down big game. Horton by 10 point, adrenaline fueled. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills, we have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. 
At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Protect it or lose it. 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 Protect it. Or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Conquest Sense, hunting and dog training sense, and by Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras. Proven. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. After a quick lunch break, Smith & Wesson Performance Center's Tony Milley and Wade Middleton head out again to a different area where they've spotted some deer. They begin setting up. It wasn't maybe 10, 15 minutes later, we had two four-pointers off to the right-hand side. Uh, we watched them come through and they're, they're interested, you know, to see what's going on once again, uh, and they take off. And that afternoon, probably on that stock, we probably had about five or six you know, smaller deer uh, at different points come through with the rattling, just nothing big enough to take an opportunity at. So after about a half an hour at that, that setup, Wade says, hey, let's move. He says, you know, we'll go about two miles down the road where I know there's a pretty good population of deer and we'll see if we can set up over there and, and have a go at it. So we get into the next area and we want to set up so that we have an opportunity to, to shoot in both directions because these deer just come in anywhere. They don't care whether you're, you're downwind, upwind, you know, they're just out of their minds. So the idea was just to make sure you could shoot right, left, you know, and you had lanes to take, uh, take good shots at. He's down right there. He's down right there. He's down right there. <laughs> That's how fast he can go down when it comes to rattling. We've been out here since daybreak, and it is now 3.47 p.m. <laughs> and that 44 mag from Performance Center smoking. Congrats, Tony. <laughs> Little boy, good shooting. <laughs> I don't know why I bring the sticks. <laughs> it always goes down freehand. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> it's how it goes down, right? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Nicely done, sir. Good shooting. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love doing this. I can do it all day long, but there's only a small window every year that it works. I'd prefer not to take a forward shot like that with a deer facing you. Unfortunately, when you're rattling like that, you just don't have a lot of time. The deer are not gonna stand there that long. Once they figured out you're not another buck having a fight with, with an, one of his peers, uh, they take off. 
So, you know, just practice a lot, make sure you're proficient with the gun, and then if the opportunity presents itself with a front-on shot like that, you're gonna make it. There he is right there. <laughs> he didn't go very far, sir. <laughs> Good shooting. <laughs> God, look at the head on this deer. You talk about mature old bucks. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, he was running dead from the moment you yeah. shot him. I mean, I saw the everything collapse as he was coming through there. Nice mature buck right there. Full body. I mean, you could tell looking at his hocks. He's the guy doing all the breeding and chasing the does around here, and he. He thought somebody would come into his area, didn't he? <laughs> Good shooting, my friend. No, thank you very much. You, know, you rattling, did a great job. Well, rattling is a passion of mine. It always has been. and I spent many a days and never never rattled one in to even give us an opportunity. And, uh, you know, you rattle in a lot of, I call them teenagers. You know, yeah, they're yeah. curious. They, the spikes and the four points and the six points, you know, two to three-year-olds would come in. and. You'll get, in a, in a good day, you'll get three or four encounters on a place that's got some mature deer. And when this guy here came in over, the, I mean, it's like Superman flying over the bushes. Was. And, yeah, he came in fast. Yeah. But the handgun is nothing better than no, it. You no. Know? And I'll tell you what, you got a lot of mo mobility too. So you're sitting there, if you got to turn, you can turn quick. You don't have to fight with the rifle. In this type you of know? conditions we're, we've been hunting in today, the handgun's better than a rifle. Yeah, I mean, because most of the opportunities we've had were well inside 100 yards and I mean and the sights and the setup you've got on that one there is perfect for this type of hunting. You know and a 44 is more than enough oh, you know man. power for deer. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you buddy. It's a nice looking deer. <laughs> That's a great buck. You know whitetail hunting down here is just a lot of fun. Uh, rattling I'm a, a big fan of that now and I guarantee you that I'm going to be doing that in the future too. I gotta make sure that Wade invites me back down for that 10 days next year when it's all happening. Now remember, you can always keep up with Americana Outdoors on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear. Mummies is the leader when it comes to wildlife management products in Texas. With four store locations around San Antonio and the ability to deliver feed all across the state, from bulk deer feed deliveries to feeders and blinds, they have all your wildlife management needs covered. They are the largest Purina Antler Max dealer in the nation, so deer nutrition is their specialty. Call today to discuss your nutritional program. Visit them on the web for more information. When it comes to wildlife needs, Mummies is the leader. From out on the water, straight to the grill, and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action Today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device.